Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to set up a server so that Excel reports can be consumed through the web channel in a browser. Before we get to the actual setting up of the server, I'll just take you through what the reports look like. This is a Excel workbook where I've created a number of shop-like queries that are bringing back the sales by territory. And you can see here we have some filters on the side and a chart. This report is saved and then in Publisher a new report is created and the Excel workbook is then imported into Publisher. Once this is done and the server is of course set up correctly we can then go to the web, change some filters and extract the workbook based on those filters. By default we normally turn on caching for web-based uh, reporting over Excel spreadsheets because they're quite uh, intensive and if we need to refresh the reports numerous times it's best to have the caching there so that the second refresh is a lot quicker. This is what it looks like in the browser, very similar to what it was in the Excel workbook. Now let's go through the steps for setting up the service. The first one is to go to the server where we're running Sharpalite and creating an account. In this particular example I've created one called Ivan R but probably it's best to create an account called Sharpalite or something similar. The second step is to actually log in with that account. After we've logged in we'll then start up Excel and ensure that the Sharpalite add-in is included. Then after ex exiting Excel we can then go to the Sharpalite Windows service which is running on the server. There we need to set the account to be the one that we've just created. So we're running the service as this account name. The fifth step, step is to configure Excel, the Excel application identity to run as this account. Once all these steps are done, we can start the service and do some testing. I'll now switch to the server that is running the web channel. You can see that I've already created an account and I've logged in as Ivan R, or in your case, most likely Sharp Ally. So once you've logged in, the first thing we need to do is to start up Excel. Now I've already configured Excel so I'll get this message here just saying I can't embed or link objects. So we start Excel and in your case there won't be any add-ins so we'll need to add this list here. Go to Files, Options and on the Add-ins tab you can see down the bottom here it's got Manage Excel Add-ins. We'll just click Go there I've already got the add-in in my list, so we can click Browse. And once we're on Browse, depending on whether you're running 32 or 64 bit windows, go to the Program Files directory, and under there you should find Firelight. If you click on that, Sharper Light, Bin, and then we have a choice of the 32 bit add-in or the 64 bit add-in. In my case, I'm running a 32-bit version of Excel, so I'll choose the 32-bit version. If all goes well, you should see Sharpalite Excel appear in the add-ins list. Now we've added the add-in to Excel, we can close Excel and go to the next step. The next step was to set the account on the Sharpalite service. So I've just started up services and if I do a search in the list you'll see that there's a service called Sharpalite service. Let's have a look at the properties on that. And this is the important part. We go to the logon tab and normally it would be set to local system account. We need to change that to the account that we just logged in as. So in your case it will probably be Sharpalite and of course the password 
we need to set that correctly. We don't need to restart the surface yet because there's some more steps that need to be carried out. So I'm just going to close that and we'll go to the next step which is this one here. So DCOM configure is a Microsoft configuration tool. So we'll just go back to the service and click on start and go to the start command line. Just going to paste that in. DCOM CNFG and I'll hit enter. This will allow us to configure various components on the server. It's going to open up component services, computers, my computer, and then from the list of folders, DCOM config. There'll be various components in DCOM config, but if we scroll down, we'll find that there's a Microsoft Excel application entry. Right click on that and go to properties. We don't need to change any of these except the last tab which is identity. By default this will be set to the launching user but we need to change it to this user. This is where you'll enter in Sharpalite or whatever account you've just created and the password. If this step is not done, the Excel will not be able to start correctly. So once you've done that, uh, press OK and you can close that window now. The final step is to actually start the service. So go back into services now and you can go right click and restart or start. In my case, I've already started the service. The final step is testing. You can see here that I've already got the service up and running so I can browse to a particular report that has Excel embedded in it and refresh the page and this re particular report is based on parameters up the top here. You can see that I've chosen to actually display the parameters so I know everything's working correctly. If there were there was a problem I'd either get an error message instead of this report or the second level would be where there's a formula for example just where my cursor is now there is a formula to return this table I'd see something like a hash value appear meaning that Excel's almost completely configured but not quite in which case you would have to go back and confirm let's have a look to see what happens if it's the service is not quite configured so I'll go back to the service and I'll go back into the D DCOM config and change the settings to something that's not going to work. Let's say that the the configuration settings were the launching user for example. Just apply that and I'll come back and refresh the page and you should see an error appear. So this means that the service hasn't been configured correctly. Also another good way of testing is to actually log off the server. If you log off the server there's no interactive desktop so you'll probably find it'll work until you log off and then you'll see an error in which case these steps haven't been followed correctly. These steps are required because the Windows service is running unattended on the server and it requires some sort of desktop for Excel to work. If you're running Sharpalite locally and don't have a server and wish to get Excel content working quickly, what you can do is run this version of the service. Because you have an active desktop, none of those steps that we did are required and you can then simply go to the link and run it locally from there. Just a few points on running Excel on a server. Just make sure that there's enough CPUs and a memory for Excel to run on the server as it is quite heavy and the more interactive reports that are refreshed on the server the more memory will be required. 
as a general, general rule of thumb, I would give at least two gig extra memory just for running Excel. Also note that in Sherpa Lite, when publishing reports using Excel, by default it will ask that caching be turned on. For example, here you can see that once the report's refreshed, the data will be kept for one hour. This could be, depending on the scenario, the data may be good for the whole day, in which case you can bump up the number of hours. And then when users come in to refresh or look at the report, they'll get the, the HTML version of the report immediately without lighting up Excel and refreshing and extracting the, the data. This is a brief overview of how to set up a server so that Excel content can be consumed through the web channel.